Hello everyone! RPG Kingdom Kid here with a new Let's Play in Steins Gate My Darlings Embrace. Yes, this is some... Um... What's the word I'm looking for here? This is like some alternate reality... Or not alternate reality, this is some different... I can't remember what the hell is the right word I'm trying to think here, but this is like basically... A what-if scenario, there we go, for lack of a better term, this is a what-if scenario of all of, basically, if Steins Gate was a dating sim. So, I'm actually super excited for this, because A, I fucking love Steins Gate, and B, it's hilarious. I'm actually quite curious if these are in Japanese, like it is in, well... The PS4 version of Steins Gates, you can put it in English, but I'm actually quite curious if, um... Um... I'm actually quite curious if the, um... Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm actually curious if, uh... I'm actually quite curious if it's English or Japanese. But yeah, as you all know, Steins Gate is... I think Steins Gate will forever be my favorite visual novel game series. It's just... It hits all the right points for me. It's... It's a fun story. It's an entertaining story. The characters are lovable, though it took me a long time to really love Rintaro. Um, but, um... Or Okabe. Or whatever. However you want to name him. Um, it took me a while to fall in love with him in the initial Steins Gate because of just, oh, I was like, ah, this guy's really dumb, but then after, and then, like, holy shit, what, what happened when Luca, in the timeline when Luca was a ma female instead of a male, and then he just, just like, oh, dear God, it's like, ah, oh, but, but I'm su but then, you know, I grew to love him by the end of the game, and then Steins Gate Zero, fantastic. I recommend, I recommend this a lot. Watch the anime. The anime does really good. Does a really good job. Both Steins Gate and Steins Gate Zero anime. Uh, well, I don't know about Steins Gate Zero. I haven't watched all of the Steins Gate Zero anime, but I'm pretty sure it probably, I think it does some things better than the game, but uh, I, I couldn't really tell you for sure though. But yeah, I'm super excited for this. I, I don't know what to expect, so. Uh, um, extra? What's the extra? Clear list? Oh. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of tips. Mail list? It's a lot of mail, too. Okay. You know what? Let's just get into it. I'm fucking excited. だがその偶然は知らないのなら調べるのだ。それぐらいの身長差が求められているのだということを理解しろ。俺たちで因果運命を決定づけるような重大なターニングポイントのスイッチが握られているなんていうことは分かるはずがないんだ考えても見るがいい普段の人間の知覚は 
知覚したとしてもすぐに忘れるかも脳が処理をしないかのどちらかなんだあの時の俺にやりたい部活なことをするなと警察なことをするなと見て見ぬふりをするなともっと注意を払えと運命という名の女神は思った以上にずっと昭和でいつでも戯れの糸をお前の周囲に張り巡らせているのだと時間は流転し死へ望む存在とともに生まれ消えてゆく有限一方で時間は過去から未来へと移ろいゆくのでは Ooh, okay, What? What's, what's going on, buddy? What's going on? You are you are、okay. you, 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 you um You're doing, a, you're doing all right there, buddy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what you're doing there, but I mean, I don't see why you don't have to go to the hospital. I mean, I don't see why you don't have to go to the hospital. Let me know, guys, if you want me to turn off all the voices and then let me voice them, or if you just. I mean, if it was English, I'd definitely do that, but it, since it's Japanese,、uh, let me know. I think what I did in the original Steins Gate was I kept them on, but I still voiced them, and that's a bit annoying. So let me know if that's what you guys want me to do is either keep them on, don't voice, or turn them off and voice. Towards good. Yay! We're back at the, the, the lab! So, this game actually came out in December of 2019. I didn't pick it up until. I think they had like a major sale going on either on March or February. And I picked it up. I was like, fuck it, why not? I'll pick this up. I'm interested in it anyway. Okay, so that's the backlog. I'm scared to. Okay, I, I completely forgot what, what did what, do what. So I want to turn down the music a bit. Maybe I have that go just a little bit faster. And have the voice volume be higher. I、uh, probably have the movie volume probably the same place, so there we are. I think that's good. Um, is there like. Oh, here we are. <sighs> auto mode. Okay, auto mode is square, which is what I think I want to do. Or skip phone trip or something. Alright, there we are. Hey, look at Chad! <gasps> Fried chicken number one! Juicy chicken number one! Nya, nya. Fair is nya nya nya. Fair is nya nya nya. Fair is nya nya nya. Bottle? Siranto, you know. <laughs> ねえねえ Mary! Um, why? Okay, you know what? I should just have the voices be all the way up because, yeah. And same with the new movie volume. Do do. Do. God, this game is so, so fucking charming already! Stark contrast to the hassle and bustle they feel in this room. Single drop of sweat rolls down my chin and falls onto the floor. Okari? Okari! A girl stands before me. She's talking to me with her head tilted. She's so fucking adorable. 
Your face exhibits the sort of appearance since you would expect a new junior high student. So that would feel no anxiety even if she were about to enter enemy territory. Ah, it's the organization! Handiwa! Their voice- you know what? The will of Steins Gate though! El Sai Kangiro! Turn down the music a little bit more, cause holy crap, even that the max volume, it's still overpowering. Kangiro. Kangiro! El Sai Kangiro! I lowered my cell phone and looked around the room to get a better grasp of the situation. But the question only multiplied. You are my hostage. The, ho yeah, the, the hostage of the mad scientist of Future Gadget Laboratory. That's right. Who are you in Kiyoma? Yakata! No one can forget my Yuri. Right. This high schooler who looks like a middle schooler is Shinya Mayuri. She's a member of this laboratory. Lab Mem 002 to be precise. And my childhood friend. I could never forget her. And what I'm talking about has nothing to do with forgetfulness. I just don't understand any of this. Oh, is that supposed to be G or Amazon right there? Daru! Ah, he has a different voice! It was more... Uh, it was somewhat more deeper in the Japanese last time. He's like... It was something like that. Unless, I don't know if it's the same guy or not. Oh. I like this English voice actor too. I like all. Like. Hey, is that who I think it is? Is that good old Kirisu? This man who makes all those around him uncomfortable and who has been occupying my focus for some time now is Hashira Itaru. Daru! Daru. Also known as Daru. I actually wonder if Shizu. Not only is he in Shone Supa Haka, he's also the right arm of Hyoin Kiyoma. I wonder if. Actually, yeah, Suzuki is in this game. And. There she is. Ah, uh, good old Kirisu. Hey! Christina! Christina! <laughs> yes, the weird nicknames. Ah! I'm gonna tell you this right now, guys. You should at least. Um, hold on, I'll wait. I'm saying this right now. You should either A, watch. I think. I know I did a Let's Play of Steins Gate, which is on this channel, I wanna say. I believe it is. It should be. I think it was like one of my early ones that I did. Or maybe it might be on my previous channel. Uh, but watch that Let's Play, or at least know about the original Steins Gate before you start watching this game. It, it would help more because we're we're in, we're going to basically. I'm pretty sure this game is going in with. I'm pretty sure this game's like yeah, you know about Steins Gate. Okay, here we go. Christina? Oh, uh, qu question mark? Christina? Nani? Nani? The zombie. So the zombie? Question mark? Christina, it is. <laughs> Let me guess, Rabbi Kri Oh, Kurisu. Makasi Kurisu. In the details. 
She responded only with a glare. So he's gonna make her mad. You love her, Okabe! But since there's no telling how she might exact her revenge, I should stop before things get out of hand. Dude. Nothing is scarier as a woman with vengeance on her mind. Huh? 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 Look at all this exposition we're giving you that you would know if you played Tides Gate, but we're giving this all to you right here. See? Exposition! Thanks, Daru, you're the best! That's right, everything I said was true. In spite of her age, this girl is a world-renowned neuroscientist. This summer she came to me begging for a chance to be my disciple. So I took her in as lab mem number 004. Yet this is what I get. While this sort of behavior may fly in other countries, she needs to know that Japan doesn't take these things too, so lightly. Bullshit. Fortunately for her, Hyoin Kiyoma is not bothered by such petty things. I will allow this indignity to slide without comment. Allow me to make it perfectly clear that my silence is not due to the terror this woman instills in me. Bullshit! Or it could be the love that she does. I looked around the room. See? <laughs> we do have a microwave, but it's being used as our thingy. We did. We broke it. Ah, oh, the mic, the whole microwave thing. Okay, so we have these four. Where's Suzuki? Where's Suzuki? Clutter and technology covers every free space in the tiny room as it as if to drive home the point that we're in a laboratory. We got Ferris, we got Luca, and I can't remember her name off the top of my head, the one on the left. Yet somehow people were bustling around in this cramped space. What does this mean? <laughs> だから。新しい<笑> I think, yeah, I think he's on a different world line. That's completely different. Dr. Kirisu's explanations have brought the truth to light. So, okay. I'm gonna, in some I asked them to make new gadgets, and now we're celebrating our success. I, my guess is, wow, so... So, I'm going to give a little premise of some science gate here, in case some people may not remember, but... So, the phone wave subject to change is basically what is a quote-unquote time machine. But only Okabe, or Rintaro, or Hyoni Koma, however you want to call him, he's the only one that knows when he jumps from a timeline to a timeline. So, you're not really changing time, you're just branching off into a different, different possibility. So, for example, uh... Today, I could either, uh, let's say I want to go to the grocery store today. And in my way to the grocery store, I, oh, I, I, I'm trying to think if should I make this somewhat lighthearted or somewhat dark. You know what? I'll keep it lighthearted. I went to the grocery store today and it, while there, I ran into my girlfriend. If I had a girlfriend, let's say that's the first time I ever met her. And we hit it off, great, and we start dating, and now, down that line, we get married. But, I come back, I, I do the phone waves thing, but my me my memories from that timeline carry over here. 
But for some strange reason, I was like, no, I don't want to go to the grocery store. So I don't go to the grocery store, I don't meet my girlfriend, and I don't want to marry her, and that's that. But he, uh, he remembers both of those timelines. They both exist. They just change by the number gadget thing that I can't remember what it's called. But uh, it's basically like, here's the timeline, not timeline, the world line number reader that only Okabe remembers because he's the only one that rem has the memories from every single timeline he's on. So when he changes something using the phone wave, it transfers him to a different world line where, like, okay, for example, in Steins Gate, uh, they were able to send a message to Luca's mother to be like, eat more vegetables. Well, she was pregnant with Luca, so then Luca could become a female because Luca's like, you know, uh, has the whole, he's a, he's a guy, but he like, wants to be a female type thing. Um, I, I, I don't want to know. I, I think he's a, I don't know the proper wording, if there's a wording for that. I'm trying to think. Anyway, I don't mean to be insulted, and I don't mean to be insulting when I'm talking about this, but yeah, so he's a guy, but he wants to be a female. Um, so he's a, I don't, is that still a tran? Is that a tran person? A trans person is, even though they're still male, but they want to be a female, and yet he still kind of like acts like a male somewhat, but he wants to be a female. Is that still cons person still considered to be a tran? I don't know. Um, but anyway, so then we do that, and that changes the world line where, even though it doesn't seem like anything changes, it did change, and he becomes a girl type thing. Like, he was born as a girl. So there's that. But Rintaro remembers that, like, he's a guy. So that, that's one of the things I really... That's one of the things I, like, fuck this guy. This guy's complete bullshit. I hate that he's like, our character. Was he was like, but he's a guy, and then he's like, tries to prove he's a guy by, you know... Putting his hand down the pants. Okay, he doesn't put the hands down the pants. He just feels around. He's like, oh, wait, I'm not feeling a dick. And then everyone just gets super pissed at him. Because he does this in front of people. He does, he did this in front of Mayuri. He did this in front of Kurisu. And, of course, Kurisu gets super fucking pissed. I think he hits, she hits him with a book. And everyone's like, why the fuck would you do that? And he's like, well, he's a guy in my, this timeline. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? So I feel like they did some kind of thing. And yet, like... The Rintaro of that time, he just jumps into the body of the Rintaro of that timeline. And he doesn't have the memories of that Rintaro, he just has the memories of his self. So, that's what it is. And the problem is, I don't recall any of it. As a matter of fact, they might explain it here too. Could I have given them this order subconsciously? Or could this be the organization's doing? No, that's not it. In that case... Dario. Dario. Oh, it's cute. I'm going to go to the house. 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 The untrained eye, that is. Dario's constant use of net slain is like a conditioned reflex, even when it obscures his true response. So I ignore him and ask anyway. I point out the people moving about the room. If it's a laboratory party, only lab mems should be invited. Well, guess what? They're all lab mems! But including myself, there are eight people here. As far as I can remember, our laboratory only had six members. Wait, well, oh, 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 the fucking phone. One, two, three. Ferris, Mayuri, Luca, what's her name? Kirisu, Daru, Rintaro. So is Suzui in there? Suzui must be in there. We just haven't seen her yet. Or at least as of five minutes ago. Following that logic, we have two non-lab member mem interlopers in this room with us. Sorry, I forgot to do the voice. As a mem, as mh, shake my head. 
そうだけどそれが何かいいよ No, it's not, that's not actually. No, I get it. It's actually very weird. The creation of my new gadgets. Now, I. It's something I never really thought about until, like, kind of right now. There's no other guy. Ah,、uh, fuck me. I forgot about Luca. God damn it. Even I was like, the whole. Oh, Luca's a girl. Fuck, no. There's three guys in total of, like. Okay. A party. Party. New lab mems. None of which I remember. Could only mean <laughs> this is the will of Steins Gate. <laughs> I love the laugh. I love his laugh. Sadane. <laughs> With this much ev- of evidence, there's no room for doubt. There's only one conclusion that can be drawn. I looked around the room and raised my voice so that everyone could hear me. Oh boy, here we go. Here we fucking go. So, no, Tori! See, Sakimode. Whatever D mail no jikke o konate. Yeah, D mail experiment. So, second, Doko. Or no kanga, a match got Tina Katanoda to Kaksin star. What? Oh, in Kyoma, a coconut dangan. Don't. Yeah, hurry, D mail. Don't. Don't. No. Yes, you're correct, but. <laughs>